Okay, so now what we're going to do is model this X-Wing using extrude and edge loops. Okay. So, to get started here, let's kind of look how this is going to work. Well, whenever I'm in my top view, this is what's going to happen. Make sure you lock your layer. Anytime I'm in the top view, I'm going to make sure I scale this way. Okay, so I'm scaling from the left to the right. Do not ever scale here unless you really need to. Okay, so I'm scaling this way. Okay, and whenever we're in the side view, it's more like moving things around. So don't ever scale in your side view. Only move. Yep. And when you do move a vertice, move it like this. Drag. Move. Don't ever move it just with clicking and moving. Because what happens is you have broke symmetry. See? that's bad. So those are a couple of rules that you need to follow throughout the lesson. Okay, so now that we got those out of the way, let's look at making this a little bit more detailed. What we're going to do is put an edge loop going all the way through the model. I see a form change here, so I'm going to put that as a form change. Okay, that makes it so if I go in here and go to the vertice, click drag, I can now move that up just a little bit. And if I move this down and move this down, I have that. So to produce this form, all I really have to know is, you know, I have to extrude that up a little bit. So let me kind of put this one here, and this one here. There we go. So I made it a little bit smaller than that form change. And then I could take my faces. And in this case, I think I'm going to grab just this face, this face, and this face. and go in here in my perspective view and extrude it just a little bit up. Just like that. Check it out in my side view and then go back and just take it out a little bit further. Notice I always touch the blue arrow. Do not scale it. In other words, when I go in here, hit extrude, I'm using this blue arrow, not the blue box. Please note that. That is a very common mistake amongst first modelers. Okay, so now I can go in here and I can arrange these vertices if I need to. Alright, it looks like I didn't grab the right amount, so I'm going to undo that. I want to make sure I grab all these faces right here. Holding shift and select I can do that. So sometimes I triple check these in my perspective window just to make sure that I have everything. Yes, that looks a lot better. And if I over exaggerate it, I have the ability to go in here with the vertices and now move them back. And I'm going to go in here 
and scale this to a point. Good. Very good. To even get that curve, what I can do is insert an edge loop here. So I can get that slight curve there. So do you kind of see how this is going? What happens is, anytime you see any kind of change in form, you can insert an edge loop. Anytime you see a drastic change in form, it's an extrude. Okay, that's kind of the rule of thumb. Alright, now, if you look in this window, this thing is looking very boxy. Okay, What we can do is now fix all this up, and it's very simple to straighten things up also. Let's say I want to straighten all these vertices and at once. Just the ones on this edge. Well, wouldn't it be better if I just double clicked in this area? grab this edge, make sure it's the edge that goes all the way around, make sure I have all the edges that go around, including this one right here, and then in this window I can take it scale these so they're straight. Now, if you've ever watched Star Wars, you'll know that this thing has some kind of where where it kind of uh, is an octagon type shape. Okay, so what I'm going to do is insert an edge loop here, and in the next video, because I'm running out of time on this video, we're going to start uh, shaping this body out a little bit.